Does it still say connected? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay the whole way. Yeah, it never, come, never cuts off. But it gives the metrics? Yeah. Yeah. 1800, but you're, you're 19.5 though. Ooh, that's gonna be 20, yep. 22. 22 what? This carries 22 inches of carry on there with two inches of horizontal movement. The bullpen, I kind of came to this recollection after looking at my pitch logic data, looking at my rap soto data from, from previous sessions, I was always under the impression of like, let's increase spin to induce more vertical movement. So the whole spin rate theory of, you know, getting the fingers together and pulling down on that seam, although did the trick, it helped with the spin rate, increased it by 300, 400 RPMs on average. The vertical movement didn't go up. I think it actually went down on average. Deeper Jeremy, my pitching data consultant, looked into it. We found that the horizontal increased and for me, just kind of sitting here with the ball and like kind of thinking about it and looking at some video, I just came to the realization of like, well, well no wonder because different release. Whereas before I was, my fingers were a little wide. When I come through slot, I was putting, you know, energy kind of behind the baseball on a consistent basis and it was inducing that high vertical movement. Um, so when I put my fingers close, there's a very, very fine line of like, you have to be freaking center cut force behind the baseball. That's why like some of my pitches will read beautiful high vertical, low horizontal, and then some won't, right? Where some will more run glove side cut because again, when your fingers are closed, such a fine line. And I know what it is. It's just because it's repetitions, right? Like. I, ha I don't have all too many reps with this new kind of grip finger placement. So honestly, I think what I'm gonna do is tomorrow, the next day I'm gonna throw in a simulated game on Saturday. So I have a good bit of time until I uh, tow it up competitively again. So I think what I'm gonna do is tomorrow, I'm gonna play catch, go back to the old grip um, with a new kind of blending of the hybrid of pulling down on the seam, but I'm just gonna widen my fingers a little bit, play catch with the pitch logic, see where I'm at as far as the axis, the, the tilt of the ball, because I think I'm creeping more towards one o'clock and I wanna get back to that 1230s, you know, heat spot there to induce that. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I think grip is gonna be the first thing to tinker with a little bit, and then I think more trunk tilt, and then more just on top of the ball pulling down, which makes sense because I didn't do a whole lot of pull downs last two or three weeks, which is usually my staple tool, if you will, to utilize on inducing that feel and getting on top of the ball and pulling down on the seam to get that lift. So, makes sense. Probably a high pull down day tomorrow, play around with those things, play catch with the, the pitch logic on the mound, work on some stuff. All in all, I was, I was happy with the bullpen today.